Um, so officially, this is the senior project check-in with Jorge from Fremont and checking in on his research project involving manga and its universal impact. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So did you take a look at the, the Google Doc I sent you um, earlier today? <clears throat> no, I didn't give a chance to if you could go up. Yeah, just check. So you can see what um, I just sent it this morning. Well, I sent it a long time ago, but then I've revised it a lot and to kind of put up what's most recent. But what's cool is that you'd be able to see what the other students that I've already had the check-ins with, kind of what they've talked about uh, as part of their check-in so that, you know, you kind of see what the goal is. But you have a lot of good stuff already happening, plus you've been on a couple of the Hangouts, so... It's more like where you are. Where are you with it at this point, in terms of your field research? And then, um, what else do we need to do before March eighth or so? Okay. So what I do is I have to um, mute myself whenever I'm typing, but I'm basically trying to type whatever it is you're saying, or we can just talk and then I'll type it up after. I'll just go back. Maybe I'll do that. I'll type it up after, after we watch the, I mean, after we go through it and just have a conversation. That might have been easier. That's why I'm video recording this thing. Right. Let's chat about where you are with your field research. Go. <clears throat> well, I still need to um, finish blocking the, the free research, whatever. Okay. Like the, and then um, and then I still need to figure out the, the, the exact dates in which I'm gonna pass up the surveys and do the interviews. Which I'm so let's let's on. figure that out right now. Uh, can you open up a calendar on your end? Uh, I think so. Just go to your Google and uh, open up your Google Calendar. I guess that's easiest. And then let's take a look at some of the dates since we're already in February what ninth. Um. Uh -huh. What are you thinking? How much? Okay, so you still have to do the interviews. Why don't you talk through right now again what you're gonna, who you're planning on interviewing, and and what about? Just to give some refresher. Well, I was planning on interviewing like uh, like Basam, Carla, Brian, and Tommy, and some other people I know who read manga, and some people who who don't read manga. Mm -hmm. Like, and then uh, and those people I still need to figure out. And then I think I'm choosing people. I think I'm choosing oh. people. Huh? Go ahead. I was thinking of choosing people who like don't know that much, like don't know, like don't know anything about manga. Like when I ask people who are close to me about manga who don't know, they know some of it because of me and some people I hang out with. So I want to try to ask people who are like who are far, who I don't have a, that much of a relationship with. That way they actually, that way, that, that way the response is more. Uh, more real, basically. What yeah. are you hoping to get out of the people that don't read manga? What are you hoping to get from? I know you want to see what their response is, but what are you anticipating is going to happen? That they're going to talk smack about manga. Probably. That they're going to what? Talk smack about manga. Okay, so you like feel like there's going to be a negative reaction? Possibly, yes. How are you planning on exposing them to it? What are you going to do? Uh, that's a hard question. I was thinking of um, uh, and introducing some, like uh, asking them like, what are their favorite, like you know, hobbies or what are they interested in, and then uh, it's probably introduce some manga that are somewhat related. Because I know like um, to Stephen and Austin, like they know they play a lot of basketball, they know a lot of sports. There's tons of manga out there that involves basketball, like sports in general, but mm -hmm. more specifically basketball. And Basam, Basam himself has uh, has seen some of those basketball ones. He thought, and he actually learned some stuff from that from sports knowledge and you know some general knowledge from those as well. So that so I thought that would be interesting as well. Yeah. Um. So I can I get I totally see the part about getting a, a focus group together. Like I could totally see doing a Google Hangout like this with all of the people that you mentioned that are already. Uh, who are already fans, right, that already uh, read manga. Um, and I think you listed like four other people and yourself as the facilitator. Yeah? Yeah. 
So maybe that's like the first one, and then holding a separate one of, of I guess, like non-manga readers completely, right? People that don't have any experience. And that's where we're kind of stuck, because you're going to get their perception. Um, but I think it's more like the type of form you're trying to do it in. I'm wondering if there's a way to do it, like, even uh, survey-wise. I'm wondering if you can show, like, because are, are, you educate me. Are there manga pieces or manga stories where they mimic, or it's like a retell of, say, a classic fairy tale, or something that people already know? Like oh, yeah, a, tons. Like, really, yeah. like, um, like uh, every now and then, like, even the most popular manga, like, they have, like, some little side chapters that we tell, like, some, like, some, like, fairy tale stories, like, you know, like, uh, like Cinderella, or, like, the big, or, like, Red Riding Hood, and, like, the Big Little Pigs and stuff like that. And so, what? like, that's just, like, all around. What if you were to get people, I don't know, I mean, it might be kind of interesting if we were to be able to pull, like, a bunch of folks to do, like, a quick, like, focus group, um, like, people that are just interested in reading, period, because it feels like, to me, like, there's two kinds of people that, okay, that are not manga readers that you would want to talk to, the ones that don't like to read, period, and then the ones that do like to read but haven't read any manga yet, because, like, I have you know, two sons that love, that really love to read, what would be their opinion about reading manga versus, right, like, say, print, regular print text? And then there's the other people that I think, like, that don't to read, and this could be the way that we get them to read more or get them to look at printed. Well, there are, like, uh, well, there are, like, several, like, um, several types of manga. There's, like, night, light novels. Mm -hmm. Which is basically you know, like a regular novel, you know, like it's all written down like an actual book like we read in class. There's those types of books that either, you know, um, the authors write mm -hmm. and eventually get turned either either get turned into manga and then okay. an anime or just or get straight into an anime, which okay. most of them do. So that's how like some like for some manga that I read and like you know it's, um, it's not really that much updated. I start reading the light novels, you know, which is basically like an actual book. Like no pictures, just a bunch of words, like just mm -hmm. all words, like a regular textbook. Mm -hmm. I just start reading that because I'm so interested in the story. I want, I want to know what happens next. Either that, or you know, I just wait for like the anime or the manga to come out. Right. So, okay, well, let's see. Let's keep talking about. So we have one I know already that's already going to be a good field research piece, and that's the focus group, like of actual experienced manga readers. Let's decide on dates for that already because that is just logistics for you to just organize it and then see when everybody can meet. And if I could be on that uh, hangout with you, that'd be even more awesome. And if there's a way that we can get everybody's okay to do um, to do it publicly, I think that's even more awesome because um, then we can get this recorded like we're doing right now. Okay. And then you have kind of like a video log of all of your field research is then videotape, which I th or most of it is. So what's a, if you're looking at your calendar, like today's Sunday the 9th, you know, if you really are shooting for Monday, I mean, sorry, March 1st, which is a Saturday to be done, you have this three-week window of time before then. Um, and to organize people to meet at a common time is the most, I think, the most chaotic, right? I think inviting, now that you get the hang of how this all works, inviting everybody wouldn't be a problem, and I could do it myself if I if I'm I'm if I'm available for that particular time, um, right? Because then I can just get everybody in the room, or you can invite whichever one you want to do. So logistically, that means that you'd have to talk to everybody this week, um, and plan for when you could do it. So what's your goal for when you want to have it that particular piece done? Um, like for like time wise, like when should it be done, or like how should it be done? Um, I think time wise, what an hour is no more than an hour's conversation. That's a lot of time to ask a whole group, right? And if you're gonna have to transcribe a lot of that, that's a lot of like you know, that's a lot of work. Um, but it's good. It's an hour's solid worth of research and conversation. So an hour was worth of time, 45 minutes maybe. Uh, but it's like when. When during the week do you think is the most ideal time for you? Like, when are you not available? Um, I'm available any day except for like um, Wednesdays and Fridays. 
Yeah, Wednesdays work, and Fridays or, are. Yeah, yeah. The, Wednesday's a bad day for me. Friday, I think, is a bad day for anybody. Um, so why don't we shoot yeah. for Thursday? What do you think? Okay, so why don't you? Um, so who's your list of people? Let's name that so I can get that in the notes later. Who are the people? I heard Katia, Bassam, Stephen Austin. Uh, Car Carla. Carla. Uh, Brian. Brian. Antonio. Uh, I think that's it. For yeah, Antonio for sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's I. I and, heard uh, seven people. Who else? I think that would be it for the people who actually know, like know some manga, like you know, because half of those people right there, they know a lot about manga, and you know, okay. like Katya, Stephen Austin, they also know some. Okay, that so that's like the range like of people. Three more people. So let's do this. Yeah, and I think at least. All right. Uh, I can get like at least three more people, so like. Well, remember that on the hangout. Um. On the Hangout, though, if there's if there's one computer per person, then you have a max of ten people, right? Okay. So if you have seven guests plus yourself plus me, if I could get in on that conversation and just listen in because I'm intrigued, um, that's seven, eight, nine, which leaves you room for one more, or you can overplan and like have more than ten, and then the first ten of us that are on there plus yourself, you could do that too. Or you have two people in front of one computer. You know, there's so many ways to work it out. Um, but I guess let's plan for you emailing everybody today. You want to do that? Do you have everybody's email? I think I do. Uh, let me see who you named again. Um, I'm going to do your email. Emails of, sorry, you can hear me typing. Emails of focus group. Um, you said, do you have copies? Um, I don't think so. Okay, let me get Gatias for you. Um, and who else? Do you have Basam? Yeah. Do you yeah. have um Steven? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, you said Antonio's and Carla's. Yeah. You have Brian. No. Brian, okay. Oh, uh, and also Tommy as well. And you do have Tommy or you don't have Tommy? I don't have Tommy. Okay, let me get that one for you. And then whatever you say, the, craft an intro email that also can get put into your paper. Like, be formal about what you're trying to tell them. Like, hello everyone, this is Jorge, I'm contacting you. You know, do that. Do all the that kind of formal work with it so that it's, it's um, again, it's just more reliable as a source if you set it all up and cover all your bases. Um, let's see, Tommy. Oh, shoot. Um, who else did we name? Uh, I think that was it for right now. I can't remember. That's it. Okay, I so I just sent you the email with the three people whose emails you didn't have. So there you go. Um, who else? So that that takes care of the focus group. Okay, so we'll capture that in the notes. Uh, you plan to contact them today to to plan for a hangout to happen Thursday night. You want to shoot for like um, I'm not sure. Basam has is he might be in the store. So do you want to shoot for like nine o'clock? Yeah. I guess is that so. late? Is that too late? Or what do you think? No, I think uh, I think we have to shoot with him while while he's in the store because I know he has like no internet access at home, so he has to do it at the store. Right, so he you know, he gets into the uh, he I don't know. You want then check in with him and let him be the deciding time uh, for folks. I can meet any time on that Thursday. It's fine. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. We're still kind of working on this whole the people that don't know manga part, which is a little bit more interesting. Because that could be anybody, um, so I, I want. I'm not sure if we just need to think about that more. Uh, yeah. But what else were you planning to do on top of that? What are you thinking? Or is that pretty much what you what you wanted to do for your field research? Uh, yeah, that's, that was pretty much what I was trying to do. Like you know, uh, like every like uh, every other person who would try to like you know, like, like a five minute interview or something. Like who they are, and like their what their background is, kind of. Because that's oh, okay. like related to my for, for each project. person. Um, uh, for almost every person, like uh, 
probably just a few people. Is this for while you're on the Hangout? You're going to have them kind of share their experiences? Uh, I think we'll have it off camera, like uh, like separately from the Hangout. Oh, okay. So first we'll capture... I think this will be great because the Google Hangout has people from every kind of walk of life. You have the SOM and, you know, in terms of ethnicity and demographics, you've got, well, gender dynamics, you've got male and female. Ethnicity dynamics, you've got a range except for... African American. Yeah. Um. What about Daquan? Is he a manga reader? I don't know. Cause he's also. Do you know him? No. Oh. Let me ask him because he's also um he's very much a reader and a poet, so that might be an area that he looks at too. And he's very he likes helping people, so we'll see if he can be. I'm just interested. It, it's not required that you have that, but it's more just like interesting. Yeah. Um, that it's everybody but. And then I think this is what you just named. The second part of your field research is actual in individual interviews with each of the people in your focus group. Yeah, I have to. I don't think that like um, if I get like an interview with like some prior knowledge in it, I can probably you know edit it, make it to like a little prequel video, and I put it before this one, before the you know the the hangout, and have it all as one video. So nice. Like, and, and what are you gonna do with the whole video in the end? What's the point of editing everything together? What are you trying to do with it? Uh, then show the um, people who are, you know who are looking over my project, and let them know the, um, how the process how the process was and how like the how and why the discussion happened. Like what like during the discussion, like what they said has any relate to like um, how they their background and stuff like that. Okay. No, that's all good. Okay. Um, and then. Do you have any inclination at all to do something kind of like celebrate? Because you talk about this universal impact, and I'm wondering if you're planning on doing anything. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be incorporated into your second draft, but because to give you more time, do you potentially, and I'm totally leading you with this question, uh, do you see yourself doing anything creative with like um, a promotional kind of thing for manga? Where it's almost like you really do want to expose like a lot of people to the magical wonders of where we could do something on campus. I have no idea. Yet. Okay, I was all because I don't know. It was you were telling me before in the fall about these like giant books that have like hella like pages and pages and pages and pages of. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean. I'm wondering if you can, if there's any way you could organize some type of a, um, because I, I know there's one thing to read it, but in terms of creating manga, do you think that any of the people in your group are good at that, or could do that? Um, I think Tommy, Tommy, he mentioned it sometimes to me, like he was like, bro, we should make a manga one time, or this, and this, and but some like man, be one time, one time, me and Basan were just on the phone for like two straight hours, talking about mangas, like bro, if we made a manga, this, this would happen. And it was like just for two hours long, this discussion. And, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that could go anywhere? It's not that you would have to have it done by March 1st, but it would be interesting if by the time we get to your senior exhibition, so I'm thinking more like May 1st when you have to have like more of your visuals finished for the actual big day. If you could get something together by May 1st and then can say that, you know, as part of your research process overall, you did this kind of a project where you yourself promoted it not just through your paper or through like having a focus group of people that already love it but you're like I actually want to promote this as a real true literary uh, form like people should read you know all versions like you said light manga you know the full blown because um, then that would give you about two months to put that together like something creative something like it wouldn't even have to have to be big especially if you had people like you and Bassam already creating the story and Tommy is your resident artist yeah. um, what else what more would you think you would need besides that um, I think probably the supplies probably because okay. I've seen a lot of people like seen like I know a lot of uh, that there's other stuff like I've seen where it's the, they show like the, how the people who write manga who are called mangakas uh-huh I've seen how they um, how like how they work it's just 24 
24 straight hours of nothing but just work, work, and work. Like, all day, all night, they working, because, like, some mangas are, like, weekly updated, so, like, one week is new chapter, one week is new chapter. Oh, okay. And these chapters, like, like at least 16 pages at the most, of like, 50 or 60. And so they have to work constantly, every day, all night, and then get it done, say, like, a few hours break, and then get straight back to work for a few more weeks. And, yeah. What about, I don't know, dude, I'm, like, thinking, how cool would that be if, you guys were to do a piece, even if you adopted that kind of a style of like a marathon run, even if it was just for one edition, and then we actually publish a print version, distribute the hell out of it to the teachers, we do an online version which would just be taking what was printed, right, and pr turning it into a PDF file online, and then what if we sent in an excerpt of it to the green and gold, so then it got printed in the newspaper. So I'm just thinking like, you yourself, in terms of pushing the re like the, the 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 part about the impact is like you yourself are doing the actual spreading of the word and trying to show people that this could have an impact. I pretty I don't know. I'm depending on what your subject is going to be about like whatever you and Basam are talking about and Tommy combined. Um, I'm not sure what that would be, but I'm pretty sure it'd be really interesting just because you guys are really interesting. So because um, the, because uh, there there are a lot of different types of genres for manga like uh for like how you said we could just make a, like a one chapter thing which which is manga is called the itself is called the one shot where there it's you just go. where it's just you know one chapter and it's, that's it and uh, the artwork doesn't have to be that good because I've seen some mangas myself where it right. looks like or it looks like a five year old drew it but the story is like amazing despite the five year old drawing. So we could do like a, something like that like. Because if you had two months, honestly, we're in March and April, I don't know. I feel like you could do something beyond him. Let me go plug my computer in. Hold on. Um, I don't know. It feels like if you did something, if you had more time and could do something like that, then that's like two aspects of field research that I think are very, very powerful because you're spreading the word and you're also kind of, solidifying everything you said in your paper about its appeal and how it's universal and it crosses cultures and genders because you'll have this video footage of the private interviews plus the hangout itself. Um, I don't know. That's like the full package. Could we say, could we potentially try a third field research then and like have you guys do something creative? Yeah, I could probably try. If I, you can wanna, I, mean, I mean, I'll supply the munchies if it means you have to do a 24-hour session. Yeah. yeah, I think that would be pretty fun. And then, cause... then you record that process and like kind of, what would you, <laughs> that would be, so, imagine if you did something where then you like videotaped the whole like, I don't even know, not 24 hours, but if it was like 12 hours even, I think that would be hilarious. And then you just like did a whole video where it was all fast forwarded kind of thing. And we just watched you guys like kind of run around trying to draw this <laughs> thing and like write the story and stuff. I think that would be hilarious. I'll put like a little hidden camera and then. So, but someone, Tommy won't know, and then <laughs> get, yeah, the, I mean, get the real stuff. I, I feel like you cho that that's a group that for something like this could be so, so unbelievably powerful. And then, like, you have a very unique topic because sometimes I feel like topics where you're trying to, like, you know it's cool, and then you think that sharing the information about it automatically makes it then cool to everybody, but... In this way that you do it, if you actually were to create something and then share it, that to me feels like, man, you did. You actually proved your paper. Like, you proved it. Because if you got all kinds of commentary after it went out, that's the, like, icing on the cake. That's something you could actually include in your final presentation is what yeah. people's reaction were to this original manga piece that... I was my teacher. Hi, Mom. No, it was my older sister. Oh, hi, older sister. Um, so what do you think? Yeah, I think it'll be really awesome because I remember sometimes Tommy comes up to me. He's like, "Bro, we should." Because um, there's, <laughs> uh, there's also um, these called they're called AMVs. So basically, they're like music videos over anime. Okay. And they um, I uh, I myself have seen a lot of them, and so has Tommy. And he comes up to me he's like, "Bro, we should get we should make an AMV." 
and he throws up some ideas. I'm like, that sounds so awesome. Where we at? And then he's and then um just AMVs themselves take take the same like the same amount of you know of writing a manga. It takes a few like man out like a few man hours doing nothing uh, but work and stuff like that. And it's mostly just it, about editing videos. Is it digital? It's yeah. di- but so is this, is it motion? Is it live? Mo- I mean, like, or is it more still shots that are just? No, it's just like. like how is it- it's like uh, if you go on YouTube, you just type in like uh, anime AMVs or whatever. It's just like a whole bunch of stuff where just um, they people download clips of of anime and stuff like that, and you know they either put like music behind it that really goes with the theme, or you know, or there's um, ASMVs where they call anime story music videos where they put some story in it, let the characters talk a little bit, and, you know, it creates like okay. a little, like, five-minute video of the whole story in, like, in one section, which is, like, really just blows up your mind sometimes. Okay, actually, so I'm actually, looking, I'm going to go, go look at a couple right now. Because I remember I've, I've watched some uh, for, from One Piece, that me and Tommy like it much, a lot, and, you know, I've seen some parts where they, where they just summarize all the sad parts and just focus on that, and I'm just watching it, I'm just tearing up, like... <laughs> No, please don't do this. And then I, uh... Helpful, okay. So, so this is good. So here's what we got. I'm going to go through just to review. So then I'm going to watch this whole video again just to edit out the, the front piece and the end piece. But um, we've got a focus group involving manga readers all at varying levels of readership. But they've all been exposed to it at least. And then all the way to the other extreme, which is they know everything about it. So that's one. You're going to contact those people today by email to push for having a Thursday night Google Hangout at between somewhere between 8 and 10 p.m. That's the first thing. Second thing is you're having you're going to film each of these people uh, individually, five minute interviews, um, talking about their experiences with it so far. I, I guess you're going to keep it kind of like open, right? Because it's only five minutes, right? Yeah, about, yeah. Okay. So then you have, that would be about eight different personal interviews that you'll then, so what you're going to do is take all of those video pieces, including the focus group, put them together into one one video that you then could potentially share to your readers of your paper in about, a, you know, a couple of months, in a month and a half or so. So that's two pieces of field research. Then you and a couple of folks, Tommy and Bassam and other, who knows, who else knows, who knows else, um, are going to create an original manga piece, potentially doing something animated, um, which you will, you might, will likely not incorporate the product into your second draft, but you could potentially incorporate the process and the product and the reaction from other people after watching it and reading it in your third draft of your paper, as definitely in your May 25th exhibition of your research. Um, so that to me sounds like three, almost three and a half pieces of field research that make your paper the, one of the most original I think that I've had because it's on a topic that no one's ever done before. Um, but it, t- it takes an angle that also people don't usually take which is cross ethnicity, cross gender impact um, of something that involves literature which I think is really cool. Or I think that's really, I think that's great. So. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Okay, so your job, we're going to end the call. I'm going to edit it. It's going to go on. It's on YouTube. I'll, just, I'll figure out how this all works um, and send the link to you so that you can include this in your, like, your Google Drive or whatever, in your repertoire of stuff. You'll email those people after we get off the Hangout and get the ball rolling? Yeah. Sweet. Any other questions? No. We're good? That was great. Thank you for being my uh, experiment. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Um, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.